Hello and welcome to Species in News, where we explore the fascinating world of flora and fauna that made headlines between 16th and 31st July. From Kerala's elusive predators to eco-friendly innovations, from global plant invasions to the discovery of a rare lichen, each story reveals a different facet of our planet's biodiversity. We begin from Kerala, where a recent study by the Aryanakam Nature Foundation estimates that 20,000 to 30,000 golden jackals call the state home. Also known as the common jackal, it is smaller than a wolf but larger than a fox, wearing a golden to brown tipped coat that changes with the seasons. Primarily active at night, these omnivores feed on everything from hares and birds to fruits, sometimes venturing into human habitats in search of food. They roam across Europe, Southwest, Central, South and Southeast Asia with Indian populations found in Kerala, Maharashtra, Rajasthan and Haryana. Classified as least concerned by the IUCN and listed under Sites Appendix 3, the Golden Jackal's adaptability is both its strength and its survival challenge in changing landscapes. Moving on to our next story, Researchers at IIT Guwahati have developed a biodegradable composite material from Bambusa tulda, a tropical clumping bamboo commonly called Bengal bamboo. Native to the Indian subcontinent and parts of Southeast Asia, Bambusa tulda grows quickly, is a strong, and is monocarpic, flowering once every 15 to 60 years before dying. Traditionally used in paper making, construction, and fencing, its tensile strength now finds a new purpose in creating eco-friendly materials that could replace plastics. This innovation is not just about science, it's about aligning development with sustainability. Now shifting focus to the global stage. A global study has sounded the alarm on alien plant species, plants introduced by humans intentionally or otherwise into non-native regions. Since the 1950s, their spread has accelerated, with over 13,000 species now outside their natural ranges. By 2050, the numbers are expected to rise sharply, 21% in South America, 12% in Africa, and 10% in tropical Asia. In India, invasives have colonized 66% of natural areas, driven by agricultural expansion and forest fires. These plants disrupt fire regimes, reduce native biodiversity, and even impact fauna, like black bugs, which can spread invasive seeds. From the Amazon's carbon storage to Asia's tropical forests, the unchecked spread of alien plants risks transforming stable ecosystems into degraded landscapes. And finally, we turn our attention to the Western Ghats. In the Western Ghats, Indian scientists have discovered a new crustose lichen, Allographa aphisosoridaca. Lichens are not single organisms, but a symbiotic union between a fungus and a photosynthetic partner, such as algae or cyanobacteria. They play critical roles in soil formation, nutrient cycling, and act as sensitive indicators of air quality. This new species has unique effuse soridia, powdery reproductive structures, and contains norstictic acid, a rare compound among its relatives. From the adaptable golden jackals of Kerala to the sustainable presence of Bengal bamboo, from the threats of invasive plants to the delicate resilience of lichens. The second half of July reminds us that every species, whether helpful or harmful, is a part of a larger ecological story. Understanding them is not just about science, it's about recognizing the interconnected web of life that sustains our planet. That's all in the episode of Species in News. These updates underscore the continuous efforts in discovering new life and the pressing need for conservation across both Indian and global landscapes.